From getting designer clothes to dancing like pros, the 10 rich debutantes have certainly been on the experience of a lifetime. The college students won the Rage Debutante competition, and with it came free dance lessons. The dancing was fun. It's tiring, but really fun. And because I've been wanting to do ballroom dancing, I've been wanting to try out ballroom dancing. So Mr. Paul has been a really good instructor. He really taught us well. Really, uh, very good experience for me. Yeah, I, I enjoy every moment of it. Every weekend, I look forward to go to the practice. To the practice, yes, yeah, exactly. I look, I look forward to go to the practice every weekend. The chance to wear designer clothes. Yeah. And most importantly, a spot at the Viennese Ball 2008. It's been fun, like the journey, like uh, for this um, Viennese Ball. It's been really fun for us. I mean, like I got new friends here. Yeah. I got like new friends from other colleges. Yeah. We're waiting for the big day. Yep. This Saturday. Big day. Ching. <laughs> After three weeks of intense dance lessons to prepare them for the ball, the debutants showed up at the Alvin Tay Boutique, eagerly awaiting their custom-tailored outfits for the night. It's um, very blessed now to be able to be in this studio right now, trying out on Alvin Tay's collection. Yeah, it's really, it's really super. It's really, I don't know how to say. I, I'm, I'm seriously speechless. This is like my wedding to be, I guess. So I, 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 I don't know. This, this is just the fitting, the, the atmosphere. I'm, I'm not talking about the wife so far, la, but, but this is definitely like, you know, an experience that someone else is going to experience maybe later on in life and I'm doing it now. So. Even the designer himself was excited, designing gowns and tuxedos for college students for the first time. Yeah, I feel very happy. Yeah, can have all the college students to do the tuxedo and the gown. And he didn't disappoint them at all. So what do you think about uh, Mr. Alvin and how, how much he's done for you guys so far? His design is really nice. I really like it a lot. Yeah. yeah, I think he really put a lot of effort in it. It's like, he only did this in two weeks. It's like 14 days to complete this gown. So I think it's really cool. When the fitting was done, the youngsters definitely looked ready for a ball. After all the anticipation, D-Day, or in other words, Debutante Day, had arrived. We start practicing like before the IDF3, a week before IDF3. But it's been like so fun that I didn't feel anything like, okay, now it's already like the ball, the real ball. I'm already here. In half an hour, I'll be going dancing in front of like all of the people. It's been so great for me. Smile, yeah. The debutants were all dressed up. But according to Austrian tradition, they had to wait for hours out of sight as the guests arrived. That gave plenty of time for nerves to set in. Relax. Uh, hey, baby. So how do you guys feel now that you're just like five minutes away from going into the ball? Nervous. Very Definitely, bit, yeah. yeah. Butterflies, getting the butterflies already. To calm their nerves and preserve their debutante look forever came picture snapping time. And our dynamic couples surely know how to strike a pose. Three hours had passed and the time had come for the grand entrance. The debutantes made their elegant march to the ballroom to music by the Ambassade Vienna Orchestra. Led by their instructor Reinhard Polt, they performed the Polonaise and a quadri. Then came the toughest part, the Viennese waltz. It was by far the hardest dance the debutantes had to perform. All it takes is one mistake to knock the whole group off formation. 
But with weeks of intensive training, the waltz went perfectly, and the crowd showed their appreciation. For the debutantes, it was truly a fairy tale moment to savor. When the time had come for the midnight quadri, debutantes each invited a guest to join them on the dance floor. Everyone got into the rhythm in no time, and they had, well, a ball. After all that fun came the moment the debutantes had been waiting for. Five best debutante couples would be announced and the winners will attend the world-famous Vienna Opera Ball next year. And it was sheer joy when three race debutantes Syed Amir, Sasha Leong, and Alicia Tui's names were called. Is the Latin band playing? Maestro, take it away! I still didn't believe, yeah, it took a while to like, okay. To register, I was like, are they okay, calling wait, my, wait, my name? Wait. What? what? It's, it's the feeling when we, when we first heard from Rage that we yes, got yes, to yes, the yes, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I was like, yeah. oh my god, it's the same process out. again. But as the night wore on, it was hard for the debutantes to not feel sad because their fairy tale was about to end. Now I really believe for, for once the Cinderella story. 12 o'clock and it's over. And it's over, so. Yeah, I'm going to treasure this moment. I really want to miss this. I miss this already. I miss like, I miss like practicing already. I want to go like back to like our dance studio and practicing like hang out. I'm sure I'm going to miss this. And even if she wanted to, the debutantes coordinator Selma Skriegner simply couldn't promise that there'd be a Viennese ball next year. Yeah, don't ask me. I don't know if there will be a third ball. You have to ask the, the patrons and you have to ask the ambassador, but who knows? It's in the stars. Nevertheless, for the lucky debutantes that made it for this year's ball, they can at least look back at the Viennese ball 2008 and remember that one magical night they had. Now that the tough part is over and the fairy tale is about to end, there's nothing left for us to do but to enjoy ourselves and dance the night away. Iyengi, the star, Malaysia.